do you, Connor, take Georgia here present to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Right answer. <laughs> and do you, Georgia, take Connor here present to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. And you're all gathered here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Connor Joseph Alan Mees and Georgia Elizabeth Cruikshank. The key to love is understanding, the ability to comprehend not only the spoken word, but those unspoken gestures, the little things that say so much by themselves. The key to love is forgiveness, to accept each other's faults and pardon mistakes without forgetting but with remembering what you learn from them. The key to love is sharing, facing your good fortune as well as the bad together, both conquering problems, forever searching for ways to intensify your happiness. The key to love is giving, without the thought of return, <laughs> but with the hope of just a simple smile, and by giving in, but never giving up. The key to love is respect, realising that you are two separate people with different ideas, that you don't belong to each other, you belong with each other, and share a mutual bond. The key to love is inside all of us. It takes time and patience to unlock all the ingredients. It is a continual learning process and demands a lot of work, <laughs> but the rewards are more than worth the effort. And that is the key to love. We could not have wished for someone more genuine, committed, to share our daughter's life. And he was such a great dad to little Alfie. It's an honour to be standing here today as the be uh, Connor's best man. And be on behalf of all the bridesmaids and groomsmen, we would like to thank you for allowing us to be a part of your special day. Honestly, uh, you've been a great friend to me throughout the years. Always there to support me through the lows and highs. And I am truly grateful for the countless memories that we have made together over the year. So here's to many more years of friendship. Georgia, as always, you look amazing today. Seeing you walk down the aisle made me realise how lucky I am. Georgia is an amazingly kind, caring person. She's the most perfect mother you could wish for to Alfie and I think it's fair to say we will be truly lost without her. She's been my rock since we met and has always been there and believed in me. We get one life and I'm incredibly lucky that I get to spend it with you. Georgia, you look absolutely incredible today. And right now, I'm sure Connor feels like he's won the lottery. Because as your dad, I feel like the proudest father in the world. It's been an incredible journey and a privilege to experience this unique father-daughter bond firsthand. And it's something I wouldn't have missed for the world. Love isn't always perfect. It isn't a fairy tale or a storybook, and it doesn't always come easy. Love is overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, fighting to be together, holding on and never letting go. It is a short word, easy to spell, difficult to define and impossible to live without. Love is work, but most of all, love is realising that every hour, every minute and every second was worth it because you did it together.
Georgia, I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. And as a symbol of all that we share. And as a symbol of all that we share. Connor, I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. And as a symbol of all that we share. And as a symbol of all that we share. So it's my privilege and absolute pleasure to tell you you are now legally <laughs> married. You are husband and wife. Congratulations. <laughs> Firstly, a warm welcome to you all and thank you for making the effort to attend today. My name is Connor and I'm the lucky groom who got to marry Georgia this afternoon. <laughs> I think we can all agree it's been a wonderful day so far. George, Georgia and Connor, you should be really proud of the amazing wedding you have put together and we're all extremely lucky to be a part of it. We have very much enjoyed getting to know Connor and seeing the love that he and Georgia share. We are very happy and proud now to officially welcome him into our family. I promise to always be there to care, love and support you with whatever life throws at us. I promise to be the best husband and dad that I can possibly be. I'm very proud to have you by my side as you're someone who would do anything for anybody. So here we are today, a romance that might, not, might have started with a torn up rose, but has grown into something amazing. Connor, I am glad that you finally made it down on one knee and Georgia, this whole room couldn't be happier that you said yes. There is, this is just the start of our next chapter with so many more memories yet to be made. Waking up every day next to you is a blessing and I can't describe what we have as anything else but meant to be. All that remains is for me to wish you both a long, healthy and happily married life together. I would like to propose a toast to Georgia and Connor. I love you more than you'll ever know. Let's have an amazing end to our day and celebrate into the evening and for the rest of our lives. I and everyone in this room wishes you a lifetime of happiness. Life will have its ups and downs, but always remember that you're a team. Support each other and you won't go far wrong. Here's to a lifetime of happiness. Cheers. Cheers.